Hello from Man Oak Lodge. Summertime is synonymous with watermelon. I remember growing up as a kid and used to get these big long watermelons, cut them up at a picnic and then spit the seeds and have a contest to see how far everybody could spit it. A lot of watermelons you get in the grocery store these days are seedless, but they're just as tasty. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a refreshing watermelon cooler drink that can either be spiked with a little vodka or left plain, and it's delicious. Let me tell you a little bit about this humble watermelon. It's originally from Africa, and they grew them a lot because it's 91% water, and so it was a great source of nourishing liquid and water in, in Africa. And they were brought over to the US and North America by the enslaved Africans, um, and they actually became a symbol of abolition um, when they were fighting for freedom back in the 1800s. Today, everybody across North America loves watermelon, and we're going to show you how to put it together in this drink. To make our watermelon cooler, we really have only four ingredients. We're going to cut up the watermelon, run it through the food processor, and then strain the juice out. We're going to add a little bit of lime juice just to bring some acidity into the sweetness. We're gonna add a little bit of ginger beer. Uh, this is non-alcoholic, but ginger beer, so it brings a little bit of punch with the ginger, as well as just a little bit of carbonation. And then to balance the lime, we're gonna add just a little bit of simple syrup, just to make sure it all comes together well. We've got our cubed up watermelon here, which I'll run through the food processor. I also whacked off a couple of little uh, slices of skin, which I'm gonna use as a garnish in the glass, if you like that, so I kept a couple of those. Got our lime juice here. And so once this is all processed and strained, we'll come back and we'll mix it all up and make you a wonderful watermelon cooler. All right, we've got our watermelon puree. I actually used my blender because my food processor was dirty. But all I'm gonna do is pour this in here and we wanna strain out the juice. I just use a rubber spatula here to keep moving the liquid through. But you can see we're just dribbling the water out now and we've got a lot of solids in the here. Um, these would be fun to use to make a watermelon salsa. It still tastes a lot like watermelon, um, but it's, as you can see, it's really thick pulp. I'm gonna set it off to the side for now. Let's put this drink all together. I've got a nice tall glass here with lots of ice in it, the watermelon juice. That watermelon that I had um, yielded about a quart of juice after all the straining and all of that, that big watermelon. So I'm gonna measure everything, put it together. We've got four ounces of watermelon juice in here. I'm gonna add the simple syrup and the lime juice, and we're gonna give that a stir. We're gonna pour it in there, top it off with the ginger beer. So four ounces of that, I'm gonna put in three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. and a half ounce of simple syrup. Give that a quick stir. Over the ice it goes. And I'm gonna to top it off with about an ounce and a half of ginger beer. One more quick little Whether you spike this with vodka or not, this is super refreshing on a hot summer day. And watermelon juice is so easy to make. Store it in the fridge for a couple of days. You can batch this recipe up if you want to serve a crowd of people. Um, but I love making watermelon coolers in the summertime. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking at Nine Up Lodge. And if you love this episode, please subscribe. There's lots more to come. Cheers! Mm.